America. And the reason I carry this sign is of significance to me because there's a federal program which understands marijuana as medicine. They've been really researching it since the 70s. I was the first woman to join. We had to prove to FDA, DEA, and NIDA with extensive medical records and reputable doctors who weren't really allowed to keep track of our use of marijuana. Still, we were all able to prove that it is the most reliable, the most efficient, and the safest part of my treatment. In fact, now I'm a senior. This is my glaucoma medicine, which I have been receiving from the federal government for 23 years now. And all I can tell you is, as a senior, I should have a cabinet full of medicines for so many other things that affect yeah, us. I don't have even an aspirin in my inferior. house, and I would be disabled because of that injury I had back in 1980. Without it, I would not be able to walk. Instead, I hike, and I'm glad to march with you wherever we need to bring this issue to mind. And that's pretty much, you know, why yeah, I really, think you know, initiatives like are essential, part of so, places where we need to find our medicine, especially if we're traveling and we're not in our house, or if for some reason or other our medicine's held up. I go to Florida to get mine, and it's not always there. I had to go back twice this year. So you never know when it's going to be or taken away from you by bees or worse than that, law enforcement or anyone. I say worse than that because it's clear by now that there is a war on us. There is no war on drugs. Patients have no business being part of that war. And not only that, but when you have criminalized 20 million Americans over a plant that's never killed anyone, you can bet you have extended the suffering to millions of patients. Because remember, they claim they only arrest 1% of us or less, and they've still criminalized 20 million of us. Marijuana is the most efficient, the most reliable, and the only part of my treatment. How's that? You that I have been to some incredible dispensaries in Canada, in Berkeley. I particularly love Debbie Gold's Ferry dispensary. Uh, patients group there is amazing. Uh, work with people in Northern California who were just as kind. And what I say is, patients not only have an opportunity, and I hope it works like this here too, to pick their medicine when they need it, but the fact that they get to socialize a little with one another is imperative to their well being. You have to realize that because of all the lies that are always told about us, which is why we're here now, um, we really need to work on educating the public about this medicine because ignorance blinds us and I am proof of it. I lost one eye because they were keeping me away from dangerous marijuana. And I was ignorant again, enough to let them do surgeries after we'd already proven to the Pascom Palmer Institute that I could reduce my interocular pressures from 50s and 60s down to 14 and 16. Or keep it in my teams when I'm in Oregon, it's awesome. Uh, the better the marijuana I smoke, the better my glaucoma is under control. I haven't had any problem in several years, and even the government is finally sending me better marijuana. Finally. During the Bush years, it was murder. I had to move here. There was no choice. But they were sending me. It was not taking care of my glaucoma. But I had to concentrate it and use it anyway. But, you know, now I combine it with your good Use it or lose it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Use it or lose it. So yeah, I, I'm a big proponent of I-28 and I thank all of you who have worked so hard to get it here. And uh, I hope that the voters get out there and vote, 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 128, bring it in.